Starting our countdown at number 10, we're taking you to Cetas de Sevilla, a modern marvel right in the heart of historic Seville. This structure, also known as Metropole Parasol, is a stunning example of contemporary architecture. Its design, inspired by the vaults of the Seville Cathedral, is a striking contrast to the city's traditional Andalusian architecture. Cetas de Sevilla serves a multitude of purposes. It's not just a piece of art, it's a functional space. The upper levels feature a winding walkway, offering panoramic views of Seville that are second to none. It's a sight that makes you feel like you're soaring above the city, taking in all its splendor. Beneath this architectural marvel, you'll find a bustling food market. Here you can sample a variety of local delicacies, making it a foodie's paradise. So if you're a fan of modern architecture and panoramic views, Cetas de Sevilla is a must visit. Coming in at number 9, we have the Plaza de España, a site that's as grand as it is beautiful. Framed by the brilliance of Spanish Renaissance revival architecture, Plaza de España was constructed for the Ibero-American Exposition in 1929. It's a testament to the rich tapestry of Seville's history and culture. The plaza's semicircular design, adorned by a series of ornate alcoves, each representing a different province of Spain, adds a unique charm to this architectural marvel. A walk around the plaza feels like a journey across Spain, but it's not just the architecture that's breathtaking. The Plaza de España is also home to a beautiful canal. Visitors can rent charming little rowboats, making it a perfect spot for a leisurely paddle. Whether it's a leisurely boat ride or a stroll around the plaza, it's a sight you wouldn't want to miss. At number eight, we have the Cathedral de Sevilla, a masterpiece of Gothic architecture. This cathedral is the third largest in the world and the largest Gothic cathedral. It's an awe-inspiring spectacle of detailed craftsmanship. Cathedral de Sevilla was built in the 15th century on the site of a 12th century mosque. Its history is a fascinating mix of cultures and religions. The cathedral's architectural design is a testament to the grandeur of the Gothic era, with its soaring vaults, intricate stone carvings, and stunning stained glass windows. This prestigious building is not only a marvel of design, but also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its cultural significance and historical importance cannot be overstated. It's a symbol of Seville's rich heritage, a testament to the city's enduring spirit. For those who appreciate grandeur, the Cathedral de Sevilla is an absolute delight. Its sheer size, intricate details, and historical significance make it a must-see destination in Seville. Number 7 brings us to the Torre de Oro, a historic watchtower with a golden glow. Nestled on the banks of the river Guadalquivir, this dodecagonal marvel has been standing tall since the 13th century silently witnessing the ebb and flow of history. Its name, Torre de Oro, translates to Tower of Gold, a moniker inspired by the golden reflection it casts on the river at sunset. The architecture of this tower is a testament to the Moorish influence in Seville. Its 12-sided design is a graceful blend of military and maritime aesthetics. Inside, you'll find a naval museum that's home to a rich collection of navigational instruments, historical documents, and model ships. The top of the tower offers an unrivaled view of the city. You can see the river, the bullring, and even the cathedral from there. A visit here promises a journey back in time, making it a must-see. At number 6, we have the Seville Cathedral and La Giralda, a combination of a magnificent cathedral and a towering bell tower. Built in the 15th century, the Seville Cathedral is the third largest church in the world and the largest Gothic church. It's a testament to the city's rich history and the architectural prowess of the era. La Giralda, on the other hand, is a former minaret-turned-bell tower that stands as a symbol of the city's diverse cultural influences. This towering monument showcases an exquisite blend of Moorish and Renaissance styles, a reflection of Seville's vibrant past. Inside the cathedral, you'll find a treasure trove of art, including works by Murillo and Goya and the tomb of Christopher Columbus. But the real treat is a climb up La Giralda, as you ascend the 34 gently sloping ramps, you're rewarded with a breathtaking view of the city that's hard to beat. Halfway through our countdown at number 5, we visit the Casa de Pilatos, an Andalusian palace that's a feast for the eyes. Built in the late 15th century, this stunning palace is a harmony of Italian Renaissance and Spanish Mudajar architecture. From the intricately designed tilework to the grand archways, every corner tells a story of its rich history. The palace is named after Pontius Pilate, with a legend claiming it as the model for the biblical figure's house in Jerusalem. As you wander through the palace, you'll find yourself in awe of the ornate decoration and the attention to detail. 
but it's not just the architecture that will take your breath away. The beautifully manicured gardens are a sight to behold, with vibrant blooming flowers and the gentle rustling of leaves creating a tranquil paradise. A visit to Casa de Pilatos is like stepping into a fairy tale, a sight that should be on every traveler's list. Before we reveal our top four, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and tell us your favorite site so far in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. Now let's get back to our countdown. At number four, we have the Plaza de Toros, a site that's steeped in Spanish tradition. This grand sweeping structure stands as a testament to the rich history of Seville. A masterpiece of architecture, the Plaza de Toros is an iconic symbol of Spain's bullfighting heritage. With its sandstone walls and Moorish archways, it's not just a venue for bullfighting, but an art piece in itself. Walk through its corridors, and you'll feel the echoes of the past, a time when matadors and bulls locked horns in a dance as old as Spain itself. The Plaza de Toros isn't just a building, it's a living, breathing part of the city's culture. It's a place where tradition meets modernity, where the past is not forgotten, but celebrated. Bullfighting might not be for everyone, but the Plaza de Toros is more than that. It's a symbol of Seville's vibrant past and its enduring spirit. For a true taste of Spanish tradition, Plaza de Toros is a must visit. Coming in at number two, we have the colorful and vibrant Triana district. Triana is a burst of life, a district that dances to its own rhythm and a place where tradition and modernity harmoniously coexist. One cannot simply walk through Triana without being captivated by the lively atmosphere that seems to pulsate through the streets. Known for its traditional ceramics, Triana is a potter's paradise. The district's history is intertwined with its pottery, and the beautiful, intricate designs are a testament to the skill and craftsmanship of the local artisans. But what truly sets Triana apart is its flamenco culture. The district is a cradle of flamenco, with the rhythm of the guitar, the clap of the hands, and the soulful voice of the singer echoing through the alleyways, inviting you to join in. For a true taste of Seville, make sure Triana District is on your list. Finally, at number one, we have the Alcazar of Seville, a royal palace that's a testament to the Moorish influence in Spain. This breathtaking palace is a tapestry of history, a seamless blend of Christian and Islamic architecture, revealing the story of a city where cultures have intertwined for centuries. Let's traverse through time and explore the Alcazar's illustrious past. Originating as a fort in the 10th century, the Alcazar has been home to various monarchs, each leaving their unique imprint on its design. The result is a stunning architectural amalgamation of Gothic, Renaissance, and Romanesque styles, complemented by the intricate geometric patterns that are a hallmark of Islamic design. But the allure of the Alcazar extends beyond its walls into the lush expanse of its gardens. A stroll here is like walking through a living painting, where fountains dance and flowers bloom in a riot of colors. The gardens are an oasis of tranquility that perfectly balances the grandeur of the palace. Adding to its prestige, the Alcazar of Seville is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a recognition of its cultural and historical significance. Fans of the small screen might also recognize it as a backdrop in the popular series, Game of Thrones. As we end our countdown, it's clear that the Alcazar of Seville, with its blend of cultures and stunning beauty, is the top site to visit in Seville.